Yo, hello guys, it's Kevin Osaze here. Gorilla with at lead. Uh, today we're gonna go to William Bonacci. He's currently two and a half weeks out from the Arnold Classic in Ohio. We brought him a nice Gorilla with goodie bag box with some nice new apparel we have. And we're gonna see how he's feeling, how he's doing. Two and a half weeks out from the Arnold. Let's go. Hey, how you hey, doing? Guys, Gorilla Web. Good morning. Thank we you. We brought you a goodie bag? Yes, 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 yes. Happy with it. Yeah. So how are you yes. feeling? Two and a half we start from the Arnold. Yeah, I'm feeling tired, but good, you know, confident. Yeah. And uh yeah, we're ready for it, man. Yeah, Prep going pretty well? Very well, you know. So uh, coach is proud of it, so we're doing good. Let's yeah, go on in. Come on inside, man. So welcome to my house. As you see, my coach is over here for a week to stay with me. You know, under his watching eye, you know, we are checking everything, you know, last details, putting everything on point. So, uh, yeah, we welcome you. Okay, guys, so I'm Neil Hill. I am nearly 50 years of age. I would have actually been in the industry for 31 years. Now, I'm a professional coach. I'm very passionate about what I do. Um, I was a former retired IFBB professional, so I know what it's like to live the lifestyle needed to be an elite athlete. And I feel that I'm in a very fortunate position with myself and all the team members within my team. So my team is Y3T and Y3T is a three dimensional training program that all of my athletes will uh, undergo and do at some point through off season or pre contests and the programs that I design are obviously unique for each individual. So guys, in the morning before I go and do my cardio, I take like two scoops of BCA from USN how to make sport nutrition and two scoops of glutamine. I won't refill too much of my secret, you know. And yep, we can go. I do cardio, uh, like let's say 20 minutes, depend on my weight. 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Um, today it will be like 30 minutes and afterwards I will do a little bit uh, abs. Um, the reason why um, I'm doing cardio is like to burn fat you know and I'm doing it on an empty stomach because from an empty stomach you have no carbs and then you start over to burn fat. I always I love the stair masters it's, it's because it's a tough exercise it's a tough uh, <laughs> cardio equipment it works for my legs it works for my front legs for my quads and when I lean forward you know, it works for my hamstrings plus my glutes as well. You know, and I always make sure that I squeeze it every step that I take. So at the moment, I'm doing like uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes cardio every day, uh, seven days in a week. And um, if my weight drops too much, we drop the cardio to like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. You know, but right now we're on uh, 30 minutes again. Because I had a cheat meal yesterday. I train, my, I train my abs like every muscle group. Gonna see, do um, some machines, see the crunch. Um, mostly I do like three, four sets um, combined with bicycle, you know, just on the seat. Uh, afterwards, um, I will do um, twist with a ball. Uh, and I would do leg races as well, knee, knee races as well, for my lower abs. Hey guys, so we just came back from cardio. So now it's time to fix some meal and uh, get a meal in quickly. Let's go. Um, I was always working, you know, even later when I was doing bodybuilding, you know, I was in the, a carpenter, yeah, and in, in the construction. Um, also did a lot of other works, you know, but that was like my main thing. I started bodybuilding at an early age, like 12 years old, you know, like 
not necessarily bodybuilding, but weight training. A lot of people in the gym told me, trainers, you know, you should do bodybuilding, you should do bodybuilding. And I kept hearing that, you know, till I got like 25, you know, so then I went to a show to see a bodybuilding show and uh, I fell in love. And uh, I think a year later, uh, I came back and I did the same show and I won the show. And from then going, uh, yeah, um, get addicted to it, you know, so. When I got my pro card and started placing well, you know, like in a, when I started doing in the OP class because I started in a two and two class. So when I went to the OP class and I started winning like OP shows, you know, like, you know, $10,000, that kind of stuff, you know. You know, it took a year later that I had my sponsor, you know, I quit my job and I just live of a small budget, you know, so I could like go for like 200% for the bodybuilding career. Uh, so that's what I did and it paid off after a year, you know, so each year, you know, I just moved up, you know, moved up in placings, moved up in uh, financial, you know, so, yeah. Like around 2015, I could make a really living from it, yeah. So this is my egg whites, I got like uh, 8 egg whites, um, 7 to 8 egg whites and one whole, one yolk. And now I'm making my oatmeal, my oatmeal is about 120 grams. Um, uncooked and then I cook it you know. and then, um, you can, I can add a little piece of banana with it and uh, like 10 to 15 blueberries but I will save that one for tonight you know, so I can do it in a blender the whey protein USA, it's my sponsor. Been a pair of five years now. Great taste. And I only use vanilla for this, you know. Other tastes, <laughs> you you fucked up your old name. So the only way for this is the vanilla taste. Otherwise, you will mess it up. Yes, I'm ready to eat. Hey guys, so um, we're done now and I'm going to take a little nap and then uh, I have to make sure that after two hours I get a meal in and then later on we will go and do some grocery. See you guys later. Hey guys, welcome back. So, so for now um, we can straight go away to get some meat. Uh, first, let's see if we got some space in the freezer. Okay, so this is supposed to be the chicken. Chicken breast. I got some few chicken here. So I think we need about 5 to 10 kg of chicken. There's enough salmon over there. And the rest is for the, you know, for where we are not in prep. <laughs> So now we are going to um, to the butcher and uh, we're going to get some meat, some chicken breast for the next, uh, let's say two and a half weeks. I'm Tiana, uh, I'm the girlfriend of uh, William Bonnack and this is our daughter, Emilio Bonnack. <laughs> we were neighbors um, like 26 years ago, <laughs> a long time, I moved another city and he moved and through a mutual friend of us uh, she passed away two years ago and at the funeral um, we meet again and it was like magic <laughs> when I in the beginning when I was uh, dating him he uh, I, I was of course shocked because it's really big <laughs> but now for me it's just normal and his heart is like average person really nice so I look through the big person he is. I would describe William Bonnet as a generous, humble person, really nice, a good heart, good father and a good friend. And um, yeah, it's strange when you go to the airport and everybody's like, can I have a picture with you? So when we're walking in Las Vegas also, everybody comes to take a picture with him. So it's strange for me, but it's his job. So Bonnet is really a uh, family person. We are um, focusing on his competition, so when he's on prep, then I will be the mom and dad uh, for Abigail. 
and um, when he's not on prep, then he is the father. He's really a nice uh, family man. He loves his family. That's number one. You know the thing that that was going on YouTube, you know, with the girls, you know, like kicking the door like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we just went to get some uh, chicken breast, you know, for the next two and a half weeks, uh, and some eggs. We needed some eggs. We go to another place. It's um, another investment that I did with a good friend of mine who I know for years, and. Um, uh, we already has a business car business, like a fifth cars, hundred cars, and now we um, um, we plan to get some cars that are like damaged, and then we fix them, and then we sell it. Uh, they um, also rent cars, like fifth cars, you know, like those you know expensive cars, or if you have a wedding, you know, and uh, you know you want to come cool, you know, you can rent a car over there. So let's go. Okay guys, so uh, we are now at the FIP cars. Uh, this is Nick, he can tell you more about it. And uh, my partner Gabi couldn't be here, so he's on his way, but uh, Nick can do uh, the most. Yeah, thing. welcome guys to uh, FIP cars. Um, we're located in Hoofddorp near, uh, nearby uh, Schiphol. Um, and we rent out uh, Ferraris, Rolls Royces, and all the luxury cars. So uh, if you need one for a marriage or something, come here and uh, rent a good car. In this place, uh, yeah, we repair all the cars. Um, this is Carpoint Hoofdorp, and it's the same uh, company as Fip Cars uh, Hoofdorp. So here, uh, yeah, if you have anything with your car, bring it to uh, Carpoint Hoofdorp. When you believe in something, nobody else will believe in you. You know, even I think even, you know, my own family didn't believe in me. You know, that time, you know, because every time when I came home with my trophies, they were like, "Did you win money?" I'm like, "No," you know, and then they start laughing, you know. So, and now it's a, you know, it's a different story. So I always believed in myself. I knew it was possible. You know, I just, you know, didn't have the right sources at that time. Okay, like my team, like my uh, coach knew. Uh, my trainer is Paul Kendrick, with who I've been training for almost 10 years now. Uh, my girlfriend who's helping me as well, you know, supporting me with my baby daughter at home. Making sure everything is done at home so I have the peace at home. My mother is a big inspiration source of my life, you know. She's the one who always holds me down, keeps me down when things are going uh, stressful in my life. You know, she's the only one who can, you know, like talk into me and, you know, that can make me feel better. and. You know, give me the power again, you understand, the motivation and the will to go on again. Uh, my sister as well, uh, I have a little brother, you know, and uh, I want to be his inspiration to motivate him, you know, to do something, you know, you know, great, good with his life, what he loves to do, you know. So he's a dancer, by the way, you know, and I push him in that, you know, but I always, always tell him, you know, have something behind it as well, you understand. This is supposed to be my fourth meal, but because of you guys, you know, this is my third meal. You are holding me up. But it's okay, you will get it. Even if we have to stay up and get all the meals in before we go to bed. It's rice with lean steak and broccoli. It's about 200 grams of steak, 250 grams of rice, about 70 grams of broccoli. Okay guys, so we're done here for today. So we're going to the gym now in Amira, like 40 minutes driving and a second workout for the day. Morning cardio and now we're gonna do the real workout. William Bonak is a unique individual in every sense. He's an athlete which is very dangerous when it comes to competing against because 99% of all athletes have weaknesses in their physiques, but the truth is William has no weaknesses. He has no weak muscle groups. He doesn't lack any separation or hardener or refinement in any areas of his physique. He's very 3D. He's got so much mass, but at the same time, he's got a blend of class and artistic lines and symmetry. 
So, of course, when you step on stage with that blend of um, qualities, it's a very, very, very powerful, dramatic, yet dangerous combination about being competitive. And that's everything that William Bonack is. He's a very competitive individual in the gym and off the gym. But one thing that I love about William so much, he's a very passionate person who's driven by his own destiny in life and his family. And that, to me, is um, something which is a very powerful force and blend and a natural blend of balance when you're an athlete because a lot of people are inspired by other things in life whereas to me William is driven by the things which are most important which is health happiness and family hey guys and girls so we're here at sport and fitness it is two and a half weeks out from the 2019 Arnold Classic I'm here with Y3T team athlete and Gorilla Wear USA athlete William Bonac and his training partner so today we're going to be hitting back and biceps for you guys and girls at home so make sure you view all the videos coming to you guys and girls on social media. We never do the same thing. We always change it, you understand? So, and, and we check a lot of pictures and we compare the pictures with the pictures from last year. According to the pictures and according to the way I look now, um, I look way much better than I looked last year for the Arnold Class. Meaning that the armor prep last year, my physique was, um, according to me and my coach, was one of the like, was my best physique. You know, was my if I if I brought that to the Olympia, it would have been a different story. God's will, you know. Let's hope we can do this better, or even bring, you know, like you know, we can do this. We can bring a better physique than we did last year. You know, you know, he always believed in me as well, same as I believed in, as, in myself, and he pushed me more, and he told me what was possible and what not. We live in a very challenging environment in life itself, okay? Life isn't always fair, it's not always equal. But the truth is most of us in life have the same opportunities, okay? We are very, very different. We don't have the same genetics, but at the same time, we've all been given our own free mind to think and feel and chase that destination. Because you know, to be a family man, when we have kids at uh, home, and, uh, it is difficult to be a bodybuilder, to do your prep, you know, but it's, it, you can always find a way. If you want something, there's always a way. You know, you have to be mentally and physically strong. And yes, there's going to be times when you're going to stumble, there's going to be times when you fall. But as long as you're strong enough to get yourself up, dust yourself down, and you keep believing on the things that are driving you every single day, and also when you go to bed at night, if you can't sleep because you have something, keeps you awake, which is burning inside of you with excitement, that in itself is a very, very powerful thing to keep you striving forward in life with everything that you need. You know, we always told me, you know, we can win the other classic years ago. Life is selfish, you know, everything is selfish, you know, so, you know, you got to be tough in everything you do, you know, so, and in this sport, you know, nothing is this is gonna come your way. You have to work for it, you understand? Because there are a million of bodybuilders who want the same thing as you do, you know, so you have to work for it, man. I feel that every single one of us at some point look at other people as a means of being inspired. But I think that we also have a similar journey or a similar story to a lot of people. So I feel that when we look at other individuals that inspire us, when we see something in them which we can actually relate to. It also allows us to realize that if they are able to achieve the things that they've gone on to do, there's no reason why we as individuals can't. Really difficult. You know, I'm not going to say that this is going to be an easy show to compete in because it's not. Um, even though that William is the reigning 2018 on the Classic Champion, of course, that brings a lot of um, credibility and it brings a lot of um, positivity and multiple force, but it also brings a lot of pressure because obviously a lot of people are expecting big things. It's not necessarily about being bigger. It's about a blend of everything. And I feel that last year's physique, what we brought to the 2018 Arnold was a very, very strong show. And in fact, I feel it was the best look to date. Where we currently are, two and a half weeks out, I feel that William is ahead of himself compared to this point last year. Now, is it a concern? No, not at, not at all. It's, it's actually uh, point of view or a place which is very positive for us as an athlete and coach but at the same time everything needs to be strategically and sciencely based 
to make sure that obviously we prime and we compete and we peak at the right time. Always believe in yourself, you know, always believe in yourself. Even if your parents don't or your friends don't believe in you, you should always believe in yourself. That's the number one thing. The depth of talent, guys, is going to be extremely difficult. Like, so, you know, am I confident that we can win the show? Yeah, 100%. I've got no doubts that we can win the show. But we have to come in with the blend of what we're capable of. Otherwise, we're going to get through it. There's no doubts about it because the depth of field this year is unbelievable. Probably the best I've seen for a long, long time. You know, and always go for what you want. You understand? Never let anybody hold you back to get what you want. You know, if you want something, you know, you work for it, you know. You devote yourself to it and you go and you get it, you understand? And you you might not get it at one time. It might take you a few times, you know, but it's okay. Okay, guys, so um, this is the end of um, a day in uh, William Bonac's life. As you can see, I'm very tired, you know. I've been walking with these guys for more than 15 hours. So uh, it's time for them to go home. It's time for me to go home and uh, get some meal in. Thank you for following me, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe.